The eleventh section of Twilight of the Idols, What I Owe to the Ancients, is about seven pages long. In section one, Nietzsche observes that his taste in ancient authors tends toward the less popular ones. He mentions Sallus, the first-century Roman historian and politician, who was known for his terse style, his neologisms, and his use of uncommon and non-conversational words. He also mentions his delight in Horace, the first-century Roman lyric poet, who impressed Nietzsche with the beauty and economy of his mosaic of words. In section 2, Nietzsche says there is less to the Greeks than to the Romans, and he dislikes Plato intensely. For stylistic as well as substantive reasons, Plato, he thinks, has no clear style and is a decadent combiner of different styles. To be attracted by the Platonic dialogue, this horribly self-satisfied and childish kind of dialectic, one must never have read good French writers. Fontenelle, for example. Plato is boring. Nietzsche finds Thucydides a cure for Plato, especially his will against self-deception, his courage to look at reality clearly. In section 3, Nietzsche says he finds the will to power alive and strong among the best of the ancient Greeks. This is the force that is responsible for all their institutions and for their hostility to outsiders. He praises the audacious realism and immoralism that distinguished the Hellene, which constituted a need, not nature. He says we should not judge the Greeks by their philosophers, who were the decadents of Greek culture. Socratic virtues were preached because the Greeks had lost their older, noble virtues. In section 4, Nietzsche has some very interesting reflections on the Dionysian spirit as key to understanding the Greeks, this will to life, this overflowing abundance of power. Nietzsche and Burckhardt saw this. He thinks Goethe and others have missed it. In section 5, Nietzsche notes that the Dionysian overflowing of life, spirit, and power explains tragedy as well. Aristotle, he thinks, got tragedy wrong. Tragedy is not about purging negative emotions out of the soul, Tragedy is about being oneself the eternal joy of becoming, beyond all terror and pity. Nietzsche, at the end of this section, calls himself the last disciple of the philosopher Dionysus. This brings us to the end of What I Owe to the Ancients. We'll talk about the twelfth and final section, The Hammer Speaks, next. Goodbye.